name is Paul Wozniak. I just moved to Chicago from uh, Wisconsin. I'm a member of the Wisconsin Labor History Society. So I'm here for the Haymarket anniversary activities. Going to uh, Saturdays where they're doing a plaque uh, uh, rededication. And there'll be some theatrics. People pretending they were like at the Haymarket. I guess I'm excited about that to see what's going to happen. But tell us about the the history of collective bargaining in a, in a public sector in Wisconsin. Well, uh, Wisconsin started collective bargaining, bargaining 50 years ago, and uh, I think, the, of course, the real news is everybody's looking at Wisconsin because of the last few months. Uh, someone who had no idea of the state's heritage and no regard for the, uh, I think the dignity of the history came in and by fiat just tried to overturn things. And of course, that's uh, Governor Scott Walker. You'll notice that uh, I've got my badge here. Uh, it's got the Wisconsin Badger on it. And uh, you saw the Badger come out in the people. It was amazing. Uh, I've been to a lot of protests on different things, war and uh, civil rights and whatever. This was the most mainstream event that I've seen. These were not the people you'd expect. You might have the uh, Fox News and Tea Party made it sound like they were a bunch of uh, hippies from the uh, college campus that out to cause trouble. But this was... The, the, from uh, young children to uh, uh, aged people, just the most uh, average Americans you could, you could uh, imagine. Let's talk about that uh, just from one moment. The distortion in the media. Yeah, the distortion in the media is this is the base, the major problem to me uh, in the country today. It's all about control of the media. Uh, in, the, in years past, the, uh, the, the the kings and lords would control the media basically by controlling where people were, and you just never got anywhere to hear anything. Uh, now we have the illusion that we're connected through the airways, whatever, but uh, it's not as easy to see that the airways are all controlled. And uh, people are watching uh, Fox News and CNN and the mainstream news where basically it's a silence uh, on anything that uh, matters to labor, anything that matters to uh, people who don't have a lot of wealth. And many people think that it's the polarized side of the media, such as Fox News or uh, uh, MSNBC uh, and the, the cable outlets that are distorting the, the message coming out. But what have you seen in the mainstream and in the, the media, in the press in general, from your perspective on the ground? The mainstream is just as distorting as either of those extremes you mentioned, MSNBC or Fox. Uh, Fox, uh, with all the money it had, gained dominance in the 90s. MSNBC is fighting as a kid come late to the, to the game fight and uh, doesn't have, of course, the audience, doesn't have the reach that Fox does. It's not a fair fight at all. And uh, yeah, the mainstream media is supporting, basically, through a lot of uh, complacency and whatever, supporting the Fox News. Mm -hmm. And how about labor reporting in general? Now, you're a historian. Yeah. What, what do you see in the press in general as far as is reporting on the labor beat? There's almost nothing on labor in the, in the news. And uh, the, uh, they've made it boring. They've ridiculed labor. They've ridiculed unions for decades. And actively work to keep stories out. I was a newspaper reporter once, 1979 in Green Bay, Wisconsin. And I was covering the labor strike. Well, the head of the labor co of the trucking company got in contact with the publisher, and they pulled my stories and they pulled all my reporting. I mean, I saw it. This was free America. Uh, this was even when uh, Jimmy Carter was president. It's got nothing to do with that. Uh, money controls it. That's what I got to see. Well, thank you so very much.